Good day, this is Dr. Battle here at Claflin University, and we're going to have our introduction to prophetic literature at this time. And, uh, well, well, first thing is simple, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but you've noticed that we've talked about in the historical books that uh, many of the historical books were considered prophetic. And while in our English Bibles we make a distinction between the prophetic and the historical books, the Jewish Bible, the Tanakh, does not. Now, that means as far as the biblical canon or the script, the uh, literature in the Bible is concerned, different types of prophets in the literary, if we just divide them based upon literary categories. And uh, the first grouping, as you see here, are the non-writing prophets. And these are prophets whose, whose writings we, uh, as far as we knew, know, we do not have. And they basically uh, ministered during the time of the judges into the early monarchy. These would be people like Deborah, uh, Samuel, Elijah, and Elisha. And their stories are, uh, now Deborah and Samuel are, are well, Deborah is found in the book of Judges. Uh, Samuel, of course, is found in Samuel 1, and Elijah and Elisha are found in uh, uh, the toward the end of uh, 1 Kings and at the beginning of 2 Kings. And so, in fact, the 1st and 2nd Kings are divided, uh, basically divide the ministries of Elijah and Elisha. So as a rule of thumb, if it's in 1 Kings, it's Elijah, and if it's in 2 Kings, it's Elisha. In these cases, uh, the literature is mostly describing what the prophet did and how he interacted with the public officials. Typically, uh, the emphasis is the interaction between the prophet and the king, or whoever was leaders. Now, Deborah would be the people, but uh, she also has to deal with a leader. But uh, the, the interaction is between the prophet and king. Now, the other grouping uh, for literary purposes are the writing prophets. Now, sometimes you'll hear, hear these called the classical prophets. These prophets ministered from the late monarchy through the return of the early Israelites, or the, the return of Judah. Uh, most of these guys we know as Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel. And typically, uh, they are associated with the books that bear their names. And in these books, you don't have a lot of biographical material on them. You do have some, especially with the longer prophets like um, Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel. But many of the others, you don't. You just have to kind of gleam it. Like in Amos, he just he makes a reference that he was uh, not necessarily a migrant worker, but he was a farmhand. And he worked in the farms. And so, but you don't get it from him, from his, from the narrative portion. It's something that he says. And most of these are, most of these uh, prophetic literature uh, contains uh, is what the prophet said, the various oracles. And they are the words of the prophets. And these oracles are, uh, these prophetic words or oracles are placed in different orders to emphasize different things. But um, uh, here they'll make declarations for God on behalf of God to the people of Israel. In the next section we will be looking at the uh, uh, several forms of prophetic speech. So see you in a little bit.